Okay, my own personal rating where I just thought, okay, wait, so there was WoW Catter. Um, I would say that looks to me like a fucking 2 out of 10. Um, don't think it should even exist. Um, yeah. I think it, don't think it should even exist. Uh, yeah. Mid exp shit expansion. <laughs> the fuck's this? I mean, let's see it. Wow, cat. Sh with a shit X pack. Uh, splits play a place. Uh, yeah, with shit splits play a place. And zero innovation. Okay, that's why I just think that's a. I think wow, cat. It's just shit. Okay, now wow, retail. Honestly, wow, retail. Let me think here. The zones looked okay. The Delves looks like a cool system. But they said they're trying to redo Dragonflight. They're trying to redo Dragonflight. So I'm going to I'm going to give it like a it's because they're trying to redo Dragonflight. If if they said they were like trying to go back to their roots, I would have given it a way higher rating, but they didn't. They just said they're trying to redo Dragonflight and I fucking hate Dragonflight. Um so it's going to be a 6 out of 10. I feel, I feel like wow retail is a 6 out of 10. Now, wow classic uh, you know, season, whatever you want to call that. Uh, wait, let me, put, let me put the reasoning behind here. I'm going to put the reasoning here so it makes sense. Wow, retail 6 out of 10. That is that is going to be... Um, liked zones and delves. Uh, but, hey, hey, they said... Uh, okay, yeah, I fuck, yeah so re wow, retail, wow, classic season thing. Now, the classic season thing um, it's not what I wanted for Classic Plus. Um, it's not what I wanted, but it's, it's, it's half of what I want. Which, what, it's what I want for Classic is I want them to start making new and original content and start innovating. Now, they're just kind of re-putting in a bunch of shit that already exists into the game. But then they are making some new shit. Like with the raids, they're actually making genuine new raids and new content there. So then that's kind of like, I don't know, dude. I like, it's got half the shit that I want and it's got half the shit that I'm not a big fan of and looks kind of gimmicky. Which is why the wow cloud thing to me is like a 7 out of 10. Uh, liked the new uh, content uh, for raid stuff. Uh, didn't like that uh it's i mean how can i put this a lack of uh and too many retail kind of gimmicky eg time hmm but maybe they are using it as a test bed to experiment. Experiment. Uh, I can't do I can't write when this is happening. Can you stop my voice when I'm trying to type it, please? I right, like the new content for the price stuff. Lack of innovation uh, and too many retail things. Pull it down. Seems kind of gimmicky. Eg time walking. But maybe they're using it as a test bed to experiment for true classic plus to see if people are open. To it. Tr True Classic Plus would be 10 out of 10. E.g., going back to roots of game, then expanding it, avoiding all the traps and pitfalls they have learnt about from retail so that's the little paragraph there does that make sense that's what i think there what am i writing this for i'm writing this for you chat i'm writing i'm writing i'm, is, I'm trying to justify this in my in my mind so you understand what that means so the the tldr is the, the wow classic season thing that's a seven out of ten well retail six out of ten wow cat out um, do you know what i'm gonna talk about retail is a one out of ten bro um i mean i just don't think it should even exist i think it's stupid I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. It's actually going to a 1 out of 10. Like, it's fucking tr Like, why the fuck are they doing that? Lily, stop. Stop trying to relive 
the fucking heydays and just reprint this like re-releasing the same shit okay like it's like okay can they truly do anything think about this chat okay if this is your history right and you had like this peak right you had this you had like you started off and then you had this peak and it was kind of just going down okay and you're like you're like do you know what you, you say do you know what you look at this part here and you're like hey do you know what we did really well here guys let's just literally re-release that right and they do it, and they start having a success, right? Similar, but smaller, but similar to the success they had in the past. And it's like, okay, clearly, it just started going down. Cataclysm is fucking here, bro. This is Cataclysm. And they're still just trying to relive this past. Okay, now, if they make something new, right? And they try and find out what happened here. Why is this dog shit? Why does everybody hate this game, right? And they try to go back to the beginning, except they do new shit, right? They do new shit. Now, the question is, the new shit could be trash and it could be the game could be just complete dog shit, right? Or, guess what? It could be better than anything they've ever made before and they could take the game to new heights, exploring new features, new ideas that have never been done before right so it has the potential to be something greater instead of just permanently reliving the past because guess what reliving the past over and over again it gets you nowhere bro it's a it's a slow death and all that's happening is you're just milking people you're milking people's nostalgia to like extend the life of your dying fucking game company as long as possible. And it's like, that's why I don't think WoW Classic should exist. Like, okay, yeah, do the nostalgia thing, do the classic WoW, whatever. Okay, we had a good time. Guess what? People like it. It's still a good game, bro. You release the same game you released back in the day and people fucking love it still. Um, but you know, we're kind of bored of it. We've been there, done that. Okay, how about now you're trying to capture the essence of what made this, right? Try capture what made this so good. And then expand on that and make some new shit. Instead of re-releasing the same fucking game, splitting the player base uh, fucking across like fucking 15 different versions. What you got like, dude, you got WoW Cata now, WoW Wrath, WoW BC, WoW Classic, WoW Retail. Okay, dude, this is out of control. Like what, like what, hey dude, you want to play WoW? Like what instance of WoW? Are you talking about? I don't know. What? Like what is? Like where? Are we, where are we at? Like what? What? what which one? Which one do you want to log into? Oh, is BC gone? There is no BC. Wait, BC deleted. Wait, did they not do BC? Am I crazy? <laughs> Wait, they just they just deleted it. Wrath will turn into Kata. Oh, so Wrath turns into Kata. I thought they kept a shard and you had a choice to choose. I thought it was like, okay, you have a choice to continue or you have a choice to stay. Okay, that makes it less bad. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'll take Wow Cat up. And I'll put it a four out of ten. That actually makes it a lot better. That actually makes it a lot better. I still think it's dog shit. I still think it's net negative. I still think it's bet you're better off not I don't even think it should I still don't think it should exist. But now goes to a 4 out of 10 because it's like, okay, it's only a little bit bad. I think now all you're doing is you just, yes, it's the same shit. They should just innovate instead of trying to relive the past over and over again. You know what I'm saying? They should just innovate. Diablo 4. This is for day one, by the way. Day one, BlizzCon. What the fuck, man? My keyboard. Day one. The fuck is this? Okay, Diablo 4. I put day one Diablo 4 at a solid 5 out of 10. Um, on day one, they just went... Uh, over old shit we already know about. 
and showed us a baseless trailer or teaser. Uh, um, but said they are really focusing on fixing end game plus itemization equals good. Waiting out on day two to hear the details could massively improve score. Why is it negative? What do you mean negative? How am I negative? Wait, how do you mean negative? 5 out of 10 is average. What do you guys think 5 out of 10 is? Why do you think 5 out of 10 is? That's not negative. 5 out of 10 means, okay, I'm content. That's just absolutely just complete average. It's just average. I'm, I'm, and what it is, day one, what did they say? Is they came out, they talked, season of blood. Hey, season of blood. Here's a bunch of shit you already know about. Yeah, we did the shit jams. We did, I literally played it, bro. I know. Fucking 60% of the shit they said, we already knew about. And there was nothing new. Now they said one line. The chick said one line. She said one line, which was, "We we are focusing on fixing item position in in game." Which was like, "Okay, that's good." That one line gave me hope. The teaser does nothing for me because I already know they're. So you gotta say, I already knew they were doing an expansion. Rod Ferguson said they're going to uh, do annual expansions. We already knew they were giving us expansion. The teaser means nothing. The teaser is baseless. The teaser showed zero gameplay, zero content. It was just, it's the exact same as Todd saying Elder Scrolls 6 ex is going to exist, but it means nothing. It's, 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 there's no grit to it. There's nothing like planting it in the ground. Do you understand what that means? They're just saying, hey, there's going to be an expansion that's going to come out, which we haven't made yet. At 10.30, we have the Diablo campfire chat, which is going to go from 10.30 to 11.30. So we get a one-hour Diablo section chat. A one-hour Diablo section. This could change things. Uh, need more details on... Uh, I mean, you need more details on leaderboards. Le leaderboards could be like a complete... Le so they mentioned leaderboards. I'm completely on the fence right now because of the way they described the leaderboards. Like, they insinuated there's going to be leaderboards that are going to be have clan rankings, friend rankings, and overall rankings that are going to change, uh, you know, weekly. Now, it kind of sounded exactly like uh, Diablo 3's, um, what are they called? The, those fucking challenge dungeons, which were complete trash because A, nobody cared about them. B, it, there was no RPG elements whatsoever. There was no RPG elements because you weren't playing your own character. So farming gear didn't matter. Farming levels didn't matter. Optimizing your build didn't matter because guess what? You were playing someone else's character. So it was a real, so it's like the whole, the whole fucking element that makes little boys fun and cool, it, it didn't exist. It was just a pure little mini game, right? So if they do a leaderboard and they implement a leaderboard as a, like a mini game, that's going to be dog shit. And that's going to be a massive failure. Now... If the leaderboard is actually, no, it's about your character. It's about your class. There's class leaderboards. And they're going to say, hey, we're implementing this new system. It's like Greaterus, except we've got all new sorts of features that we really innovated on. And, we, you know, we've got all sorts of systems that make it interesting and replayable. And there's lots of shit you can do. Then at that point, I'm going to be on hell yeah. And then I'm going to check Diablo 4. I'm going to check Diablo 4. And it's going to go from a 5 out of 10 to like a 6, 7, uh, maybe even, who knows, bro. But right now, I'm not being negative. I'm just saying... We need to hear more for, for this to go up. But this is day one. This is day one. All this could technically change. Was there anything else? Oh, yeah. D was it Warcraft Rumble? Um, I one out of ten. Looks like dog shit mobile uh, game nobody asked for or cares about. Uh, why the fuck is this shit even being pushed 
so hard if uh to blizzard fans if nobody cares let uh new people on the app store find it oh, then what the fuck is that? yeah i mean we're gonna list complete trash all right anyway oh wait, no i'm gonna put it at two out of ten because i did actually get like a, a warcraft maybe there is some shred of hope um if they port the game so it works on pc eg like balloons and focus on making it like warcraft three custom games i i mate if they did a mobile pc game that was literally warcraft custom games and you could play them on your phone or on your computer hey i'll fuck with that I'll, there may be this emote but you know that's not what's happening i'm just saying maybe this emote i'm saying maybe this emote. if they could do that negative boy well, yeah i'm negative about that game it's trash i'm negative about that game um hearthstone don't really care about hearthstone but the co-op pve did sound like a bit of a fun meme could i play with abby maybe uh gaming with crip who knows you know um all the pack buying shit gave me micro trans action ptsd also how much money does it cost to uh, get all the virtual cards in a virtual card game more than $200 Equals fucking scam. All right. It's a fucking scam. It's a fucking... Like, that's, that's like, you know, ultimately. If it costs more than $200, it's a fucking scam. Straight up. Like, dude. All right. I get it. There's a game. There's a lot of content. that has got expansions and shit. Does that change it to more than 300 Do you know what? More than 300 Fuck. It's a fucking scam. You should not... It should not cost that much money. It should not. It should not. Whenever they started talking about the card packs and stuff, it gave me it gave me microtransaction PTSD. Okay, and that's why the rating there went down because they started talking about like you can buy card packs and catch up card packs. And I'm like, wait, what the fuck is this? Is they, are they selling NFTs? Like, what am I even looking at, bro? What am What am I even looking at? What's this downloading right now? Okay, Hearthstone. Uh, oh, Overwatch. Um, I've I've watched at a uh, solid. Um, I put I watched at a solid two out of ten. Uh. Bro, really just went on about um cultural. Like, I only spell culture to call cultural console for uh, forty five minutes straight. Uh, one new hero. Uh, how? Will this fix trash game? No idea. I don't know, dude. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, bro. I don't know what to tell you, bro. That shit was just, bro. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm just writing from my Overwatch perspective. Okay, let me see. I don't play or care about Overwatch. Forced myself to watch a panel and okay does that make sense now does that make sense now okay i don't play or care about a watch right i forced myself to watch a panel and bro really went on about a cultural result of 45 minutes straight one new hero i don't know what to tell you it was it was like zero content no content also think new hero looks dog shit um why is his body so big 
and head so small. I just be honest. It just annoys me. It just annoys. I hate characters that have big bodies and small heads. I hate that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Hassan has a very small version of that going on, but that's irrelevant. Why are you bringing up Hassan? Yes, that is kind of like a vibe that I get from Hassan as well, just by looking at his face. To be honest, I have the reverse. I have the small body and the large head. Um, you know, it is what it is. Bro, I'm getting way too much detail on my list here. Wait, did I miss anything, chat? Did I miss anything? Did I, was there any other announcements? Starcraft. <laughs> Um, <laughs> dead game. Just give up, losers. All right, it's a zero to ten. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> actually, dead game. Not a meme. Okay. <laughs> Ash. <laughs> it's hair hot. <laughs> what is that? Man? I don't know. Uh, hair is a storm. You've heard of that? Uh, because he is. God damn. Game. God damn.